I'm Ben Cheatham, I'm here to talk about steel lintels. Today I'm going to focus on not only the thermal performance, but also the structural performance of steel lintels. In cavity wall construction, steel lintels are usually subjected to unequal loading conditions. So for example, there's significantly more weight on the inner leaf of the lintel due to the weight from floor loads and roof loads. This creates an imbalance on the lintel flange and as a result, twisting can occur in the lintel. In addition, if one leaf of the cavity wall is built up before the other leaf, this also would induce a twisting force onto the lintel. This is a standard steel lintel made by some manufacturers and I'm sure the design is familiar to most of you. We have turned the lintel upside down for demonstration purposes. Because the underside is open, it's an inefficient structural section. This lintel will be prone to twisting. Now watch when our volunteers twist the lintel in opposite directions, mimicking what happens on site when the inner leaf is loaded more than the outer leaf. The lintel deforms significantly. This takes very little effort, but has a detrimental effect on the lintel. As you can see, the lintel twists easily. So what's the solution? For their standard steel lintel, other manufacturers will recommend propping these open bottom type of lintels. Propping can be time consuming, expensive and a precarious practice. Now let's try a keystone lintel with a steel plate along the underside of the lintel. As you can see, with even more effort than the last test, they cannot twist the profile of the lintel. That's because the steel plate on the underside of the lintel resists the twist. Structurally, this plate changes the lintel from an open C section into a much more structurally efficient closed box section. So why does every lintel not have a structural plate along the underside? It's down to thermal performance. Putting a solid steel plate along the underside of the lintel allows heat to escape from the warm inner leaf to the cold outer leaf. This is known as thermal bridging. As steel is a good conductor of heat, this can become a major thermal bridge within the wall. However, Keystone have developed and patented technology to enhance the structural performance of the lintel without compromising the thermal performance. Keystone's cleverly designed and patented thermal brake plate has intermittent tabs that connect the outer leaf to the inner leaf. This means there is a reduction of 90% of contact between the cold outer leaf and the warm inner leaf. This simple but brilliant innovation is enough to significantly reduce thermal bridging while adding vast improvements to the structural integrity of the lintel. So there you have it, advanced structural performance without compromising the thermal efficiency of the lintel. And of course, no twist. I'm Ben Cheatham, thanks for watching.